Okay guys, just a quick update as to what I've been doing this week, which is mainly getting really frustrated. It's just been one of those weeks where um, I've not been able to paint and I've just been dropped things and uh, it's just, just not been a good week. So I've scrapped a couple of projects and sent them to be stripped and everything. But anyway, here's what I have got done this week. Uh, this is one of my uh, minis that I did when I was 14 and I've managed to get another few um, elves done as uh, part of my uh, uh, 18 years on paint jobs so this is one of my original elf archers that I did and this is the uh, modern 18 years on one so quite chuffed with him. I think he's, he's come out all right. Had a bit of trouble. With, like I say, it's just been one of those weeks where I've just everything I've touched has gone wrong, uh, painting-wise. So uh, quite glad to, to to have him finished and be moving on to something else now. So the only other thing that's uh, survived the week is the, this guy I've started. Uh, done the tabard and the, and the uh, bolter and everything. I've just got to do the armour and the, the face now. Gone for a, a bleached bone helmet to sort of signify his uh, veteran status or something. It's slowly looked quite nice. Um, so yeah, these coming on quite nicely. Um, however, he is a, a metal mini, and uh, the way I've po you know, set the base out uh, is given the the weight distribution is well off and is completely to one side. Um, so uh, he was falling over quite a bit. So I decided, oh, I shall give him some extra weight. So I've glued a coin to the to the other side to increase his weight to stop him falling over uh, however normally I would uh, stick him on a, uh, a pot while I paint him so I don't actually have to handle him but because I've stuck the coin on it just keeps falling off <laughs> so mental note to any guy, anybody who's thinking of weighting their base um, definitely do it after you've uh, finish painting <laughs> so uh, yeah it's just an example of the the things that have been going wrong for me this week but other than that other than the fact, the fact that he tends to fall over I'm quite happy with him I mean he'll just sit on the shelf for me so it's not a problem so hopefully I'll have him finished by the end of the week and we can uh, uh, see what he looks like when he's all done and so when I've uh, finished uh, the uh, Dark Angels Veteran, I think this is what I'm going to go on to next. This is the uh, Dreadnought from the Black Reach set. Um, now I've uh, given him a, uh, uh, a plasma cannon arm rather than the uh, multi-melter, only because I was... Uh, drilling out the barrels and I used a slightly too big a drill bit and wrecked the end of the multi-melter um, so I was like oh I'm going to have to rebuild it all with green stuff and everything um, but uh, then I remembered I had a, a plasma cannon in my bits box uh, so a forge world uh, plas dreadnought plasma cannon and uh, so I thought oh, I'll, I'll put that on and uh, I think it looks pretty good. We'll uh, we'll see when it's all painted up. Um, I have painted a dreadnought before, but only once, and uh, that was a very long time ago. But we'll have a look at him now, and hopefully this guy, when I'm finished, will look look better. So this is the uh, the only other dreadnought I've ever painted. This was done quite a few years ago now. Um, but uh, 
it's not looking too bad. I was I was very happy with him when I did him. Um, so gives me something to compare the next one to. Hopefully, the next one will be a bit better. This is where I used to try and do edge highlighting, but I've uh, strayed away from that these days in favour of um, zenith lighting. But he's not too bad. So yeah, so that's what I've been up to this week and uh, what I'm planning to get up to next week. So just a little update for you guys. Thanks for watching and remember rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks a lot.